don't you blame the movies? Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. I wasn't there for Mia when she needed me most. She hasn't forgiven me. I get it. I'm hoping a weekend together at a place we both love might bring us closer together. Make everything fine. But ever since we drove into the woods, I can't shake the feeling that something is out there watching us. So what you will be doing here is you'll be going to the Kenobi cabin with Mia. You're playing as David, her brother. The mission here is very simple. There are various ways to do this, but the best way is basically to do the optional missions. But first, when you get to the Nobi cabin and you see Asher's severed hand, don't pick it up like I did because you will have to fight a demon Pablo. Don't pick it up, just leave it, gather resources, and then go and pick up uh, the nail gun and ammo and whatnot, all the resources, and then pick up the thing to activate the next part. Find your keepers. Now these psychos have nowhere to hide. Everything is definitely not fine. This nasty looking book has to be involved. I should probably read it out loud. Kunda, Astrata, Montosa, and Kanda. So here you are gonna fight Mia. She's fairly easy to take out like most of the demons here, so just take her out swiftly. Concentrate, David, concentrate. Look at the book, four of the same dude. One's kind of old, demonic look in his eyes. Do we have to kill these guys? I gotta find some clues. Best thing for this mission to do is to do all the side content. The reason for this is, is because if you don't, you won't have to fight. If you don't do it, you'll have to fight all four of the Ashes at the end along with Mia, and that can get frustrating. So instead of doing that, just go to the optional stuff and you will fight the four ashes at different locations kill them and then you won't have to bother with them later all you have to bother with is Mia and that is the best way to do this this is the longest way to do this or you could just ignore what I just said and go straight to the main stuff and just kill Mia along with the ashes I should warn you in this part, you are going to fight a, de a dead eye of uh, Lord Arthur. You are going to fight a dead eye of Lord Arthur. So if I was you, go straight and grab all of the resources you can before he spawns in. There is a timer. But I don't know if you could actually escape this, but you might as well just fight him and get it over and done with. And then I do believe he will drop his sword and then you'll have a melee weapon to use on the ashes as well. So just take him out with ease. Aim at his chest, if you can, or at the head or anywhere. But just take him out. It should be fairly easy for you. You can use your needles that you picked up at some point. But yeah, just take him out and move on. Reloading! Be 
basically water and sugar. <laughs> Jump's coming, we'll be okay. If you did choose to do the side content, this means you have unlocked the fights with the four ashes. So if you if you go here to this area, you will get to fight for two of the ashes, and then later on you'll get to fight the next two. So just take them out with these. There'll be some other deadites there as well, but take them out and then grab the resources and move on. <laughs> Things change, but Shemp's never disappoint. Mia's not breathing. My Sumerian might be a little rusty, but I thought the book said that killing those things would cure her. Screw this, I'm making a defibrillator. It worked, Mia's breathing, but wait, her eyes, that's not my Mia. So, if you did do the side stuff, you wouldn't have to actually fight the four Ashes now. All you have to fight are smaller Deadites along with Mia as a Deadite. So fight her, take out the Deadites, use them as shields, as you know if you use your finishers on them, 
you won't be hurt by the main one that you need to take out. Use your melee, use your ranged on her. Aim for the chest, the glowing part on her chest. And then you should be fine. Just go with it, see how I do it, and then finish. And then you will be done with this mission. <laughs> Shell's coming. She's going to be okay, for now, at least, physically. I said I'd stay until the end. I'll never give her a reason to doubt me again. So for this mission, you will be rewarded Screamers out of his wits. Screamers, why the long face? You will also get access to the Pit Deadite Screamer, and you'll get access to the Nobi Tape Recording 6. So yeah, that is how you do Mission 6 Weekend at Nobis. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Have you checked the children? I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. We all go a little mad sometimes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Look 